just got offshore and it looks absolutely beautiful. The water is just insanely blue, purplish. I have my kids today and they're gonna be the anglers. Jake's gonna be helping them. Hi. They're gonna behave really nice. We're not gonna stream in the hose like last time. And uh, it was not easy, it was definitely. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, hopefully uh, we catch some fish. We're doing a drift right now looking for a sailfish or a wahoo. Look. And then we're gonna head offshore and try to get them on some mahi. And then we'll finish the day off with some bonitas hooks. and maybe a big shot. Belly hook sardine. So this is our pen authority. We've got an 8,500. Spooled with 25 pound perfectly big game. And we have spider wire ultra cast as backing. All right, it's time to put on the straw hat. Jake, can you hand that to me? Wait, Jake actually made these? Yes, he yes. did. One by one in my garage. I he sews them by hand. Isn't by that incredible? Hand. Real, fish on, yep. There we go. Real, pull it up, pull, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Fish on. Don't, 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 don't touch the drag. Maybe it's short. It might be a wahoo. It might be a wahoo. Now he knows he's hooked. He didn't know he was hooked. Got a head crack, dude. Oh wow. Oh, wow. It's a, I think it's a wahoo. Oh, wow. I think we got a wahoo. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, this thing's running right now. Yeah, it's a big wahoo, this thing's bro. Running. It's a wahoo. Woo! This Hold on, we're gonna chase him right down. We're gonna chase him down. Hold on, I'm gonna bring this in. We're gonna take our time here. We've been drifting for probably 10 minutes right now. And uh, hurry, hurry, hurry. this thing is peeling right now. I just saw the rod. It's a giant over. wahoo, freaking giant. Yeah, okay, go towards the front of the boat. Okay, just reel as you gain tension, okay? Yeah. Guys, we're literally chasing the fish and look at the reel still. This thing is just peeling right now. Yo, you might oh, want to go a little go. faster, go, bro. Go, go faster. Go. It's no joke right now. I'm gonna back down, ready? Get ready, get ready to reel, get ready to reel. I'm gonna back, I'm backing up now, reel, reel, reel. Come on, Uncle Jake, come on, Emma Jake. You got this, and go, go. Reel. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Back and up, hold on. Oh, oh my okay. gosh. Reel, 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 reel. Pull up. Get the headphones on me. Reel. It's a giant so 80 pound wahoo, bro, just reel. 10 minutes into this, we're literally chasing this fish right now. Reel. Probably half a mile. You got Josh just yelling in the background. Just remember, Jake, there is no wire on this rod. There's no wire, it's a double J. Okay. So you have any slack, he'll bite you off in one second. You realize once I gaff this fish, you're gonna have to hold that rod and don't, you can't be a Guggen. Because okay. Jake's gonna have to grab the rod. And these kids can't be anywhere near this if fish. They're, if they're near the wahoo, they're gonna, they're gonna they'll go to the hospital, leg. all of them. When, when we got this fish, they all go to the back of the boat. We're gaining a lot of line back right now, guys. This thing took us halfway through the braid on the back in here. And uh, it's still fighting good. It's a really good fish. Really good fish. We hooked this fish on a double hook sardine. And at first it didn't know it was hooked and then it just took off and it started dumping the reel and it actually got to the backing and then it got really low in the backing. We had to chase it down. When you have six, six mile an hour current like we do today, you have to chase these fish down. We're almost there, we're almost there. It's a hammerhead. Oh, it is a hammer. Okay, it's a good shark, okay. We have some very big pelagic fish that hang around here. Those big wahoo. We actually, once in a while, have yellowfin tunas, and these hammerheads will fool you. Sometimes you, because they fight very similar to a pelagic, and this is what a big pelagic would do. He heads straight east, and um, that's what this fish did. With, with, with the current competition, we were going straight east. I can't believe it's a hammerhead. All right, Daddy? Yeah, it's wild. <gasps> pull up, pull up, down, pull up, down. We're gonna, we're gonna land him right now. There you go. There he goes. Boom. All right. Oh, sweet. Guys, that was a battle. Look at him sweating. Look at this. Good job. Look at this, guys. Oh. There we go. That was a battle. I was hoping for a giant wahoo, but uh, cool. A little hammerhead, about 200 pounds, seven feet. Can't go wrong with that kind of shark out here with how many sharks there are. That's one of the coolest ones to catch. You know, I was hoping on that first trip we would get a sail or a wahoo, but we'll take the hammerhead. It's a very, very cool fish. Now we're gonna head offshore, go out to maybe a thousand feet of water, and we're gonna look for some dolphin. After driving around for about 20 minutes, we finally found a nice weed patch. And if you look behind us, we're there. We've got a nice piece of a tree. And if you can find driftwood out here, guys, bamboo, chunks of trees, stumps, and actually floating garbage, like rope and giant plastic bins. If they have barnacles on them, there's a good chance there's fish. So when I did a test cast here, a thousand almacos came up, big ones like this. That's perfect for these guys right here. Hammerheads are a little big for them, but almacos are perfect 
Got our Berkeley jig. Gonna use these guys right here. Can I cast it off? Pearl please? white. Yeah, you can cast it. Here we go, Abigail. Ready? This is that called the paddle tail? Hook it right to the center. Push it through. And then you just drop it in. They, they already see it. Look, look, they're trying to get it right now. Look, look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Let me do it. Okay, ready? Get, and you catch him. Ready? All by yourself. Hey, you got one. Oh, we got him. Got one. All right, we can eat this guy. You know that? I just got it like 10, 10 seconds. Woo. Fastest fish ever caught. <laughs> Real. Come on. Okay, we got one. Real. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Keep it off of the it it off. You got him. Oh! Crazy. Put it back in, put it back in, put it back in. Quickly, quickly, quickly. You got one, Ella, you got one, you got one. Reel, 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 reel. Come on. Fish keep going, on. keep going, keep going. Oh, you got oh, seaweed. Got, look at him. You hooked him on the side. Oh, no. Goldie. You let him go? No. You want to let him go? Put him in here. Put him in there. Nice, mahi on. You can do it. There he is, jump, he's jumping, he's jumping. Mahi on, mahi on. Okay, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Put him in the boat, put him in the boat. Yeah. Okay. Daddy got a big mahi. Nice, nice. Let's measure him. Oh my. He's right at 20. Okay. Cool. Barely legal. Yay. Wow. We got dinner. We got dinner. You got one on, you got a mahi on, mahi on. Come on, come on, come on. Keep reeling, keep reeling, Ella. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, oh, it's not a mahi. Oh, it's a mahi. Good job, Ella. Look at my fishy. Look at your fishy. Yeah. Can I go help Abigail up front? Fish on! Fish on, real. Got it! <gasps> real. Real, Abigail. Real. There we go, nice one. I had no sun. We got a ton of Amoco jacks. We did get a few mahi, but they were shook in the boat. We lost them. They were obviously small. We got we pulled a bunch of hooks. The girls definitely are uh, beginners, and we need to give them a little more experience. Oh, she got another one right there. Another Amoco. All right, I'm gonna go back in the tower, and we're gonna look for these mahi. All right, moving on from the wood. Dude, there's a giant triple tail in the log. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, dude! It's a giant. Yo, back me up that log, dude. Oh my god. So game over, game over. Back up, Jake. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Giant dude, giant. Oh my gosh. What a monster. Jake, get the gaff ready. Oh, he's smoking me, dude. What a beast. Almost lost this fish. Jake, I'm gonna hand the rod down to you and then I'm gonna take it back and just keep the line tight. Put, put the tip in the water, put the tip in the water. Okay. Jake, once you drive towards the fish, please. I don't want this much line up. When you gaff them, you need to gaff them, bro. And when you stick them, you gotta stick them as hard as possible, okay? Stop, stop, neutral. Just turn turn the bow towards them. Turn the bow towards them. Okay. That's it, that's good. Got the gaff, got the gaff. You get one shot at this, Jake, when you gaff them, okay? Come, come over here, come on this side, this side. This side of me, you're gonna go over top of me, okay? You're gonna stick him real hard, okay? Hold on. Jack, wait now, wait now. We got underneath the gills, underneath the gills. There you go, get him in the boat, in the boat, in the boat, in the boat, in the boat. In the boat. Woo! Oh, oh, oh my gosh, dude. Oh, oh my gosh. What a triple tail, are you kidding me? That's what we were looking for in these weeds. Wow. That's such an incredible fish. If you've never caught a triple tail, and you're never eating them fresh. This is one of the, I'd say the top 10 best eating fish in the world. I'd say this fish is probably, I'm gonna say 13 pounds minimum, but I'm gonna say he's closer to 15 pounds. What a great fish. Jake, you wanna lift that up with that? It's pretty much nice. Oh. Yeah, we're going to get bonitas now. No, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep looking here. <laughs> but you don't find a fish like that. It's stop being out here, bro. We might find something else. There's usually, if there's one, there's usually two. So I was in the tower driving and I'm moving along and I see this little log and I'm like, man, what is that? You know, is that part of the log? And then I, I see it I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a huge triple tail. So we came back around, I pitched a live sardine at it and he wrapped it around the log and the hook came out of that sardine. I was like, oh my gosh, I just blew it. Come back, I see, I see him swim away. 
we do a big loop. I had the Berkeley Gulp, the big uh, uh, swim shot on there. And I see him, he's swimming away from the log, and I'm like, man, do I take a risk with a live bait? No, so I just grabbed the Berkeley Gulp and tossed as far as I could. I saw him flash, turn aside, he came and ate it. Had it, I mean, I couldn't, there was, if I didn't have that rig, there was no way we were catching that fish. You, you always gotta be ready with a backup artificial. This is, what, this is the exact lure I had in there. He actually swallowed it. Berkeley gulp shad, a swim shad, I'm sorry, four inch. And we're gonna put it back on the line right now. Try to get, you know, see, see if we see something else. The mahi, these for mahi, for triple tail, like you just saw, perfect backup bait to a live bait. Right here, oh, nice fish, oh, nice, nice fish. fish. Oh my, oh my gosh. Woo! Look at that mahi. Definitely a keeper. Look at that, look at that Berkeley gulp right in his mouth. Look at that. Choked it. <laughs> Dinner tonight, triple tail and mahi. Three, two, one, Berkeley gulp. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Mahi on. Go, Abigail. Come on. Come on. Real. You got him. There's like a hundred Mahi on. Real. Wow. He fit it. Another one on. Another Mahi on. Oh. oh! Thank God. I hope I don't lose this one. Whoa. You got him, Abigail. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yes. Oh, it's polka dot. It's polka dot. It's polka dot. All right. Alice got first, a Mahi on. The first one. Come on, Ella. Keep going. Oh! Oh! oh. Good job, Ella. All right, let it go. Throw it back in the water. Ready? Okay. Come on. No, on Throw it in. Ready? Go. Nice job, Ella. Um, fish again. Yeah. Good job. High five. We got storms to the north of us and south of us which is not looking too good. So I really wanted to come in and hit the Benitez Sharks, but I don't think we're gonna have the time and I don't think my kids have the strength anymore. So we're gonna head back to the dock, fillet the fish and then cook them. As we were coming in, we got hit by those storms and the lightning was terrible. The kids got the boat as soon as possible when we got to the dock and we were unable to film any of the filleting footage, but we had an amazing day. I love fishing with my kids. They are quite a handful, but I love them. And it's always fun being with the family. At Triple Till, we're actually gonna eat them tonight and I can't wait, it's gonna be so tasty. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanna show you a little cool thing we got going on here. We have our tarpon, the big tarpon. Not the same size, but the biggest one we could find. Ray from King Sailfish Mouse painted this and we also have our Guatemala Mahi, so big shout out and thanks to them. Also make sure you guys go and check out our new straw hats at blacktiph.com. The link is in the description. They will keep you cooler in this hot sun. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.